Hi everyone, I'm going to make an art journal page today and I'm starting a new art journal in this this is like a promotional brochure for a bank and I decided that I'm going to use it as an art journal and it's it has very glossy uh, pages so what I've done I just took some paper and went over it and then just so I won't have dust went over with a baby wipe and as you can see my hands are all dusted so what I want to do is I am starting with gluing down something in the background to make uh, to have interest now I found this at my cheap store uh, it's supposed to be placemates uh, paper placements and I thought this is nice I don't have the <laughs> design tissue paper by by Tim Holtz so I can use this and as you if you are following me you know that if you don't have the design tissue paper you can always take a simple tissue paper stamp all over it and uh, make your own so I've got a ready-made uh, this one and I'm uh, thinking do I want to just glue it like this or maybe uh, cut it out and then uh, glue all around I'll just I think I'll just glue it as is and then trim the edges edges I'm going to uh, use a um, gel medium in the hopes that it will be less uh, wet than using uh, white glue I'm not sure but I have it I'm going to use it I have several things that I bought so to experiment with and I found out that I don't use them so now I'm trying to just uh, use and finish with them and I will get back to my trusted white glue so I'm just uh, putting down gel medium with a plastic card and I hope I went all over it okay And I've got wrinkles, lots and lots of wrinkles. Mostly I don't care, but I don't want air bubbles, so I'm trying to flatten this out. And maybe here it needs more. Okay, I really don't like gel medium. That's what I have to say about this stuff. <laughs> I'll use it until it's finished, but I really don't like it. Maybe I'm not using it uh, as I should. I don't know. So this is the start of this page and I hope I'm in frame, not that there is uh, much to see right now. I don't care that it doesn't cover the whole uh, page. I can also uh, take the, what I will trim and glue it down. It really doesn't matter. This is just first layer. Most of it will get covered. It just to add some interest in the background. And it's still wet, so it's a little bit difficult to trim. But I don't have any patience. Okay, so do I want to uh, glue this down? No, I think I'll leave it be.
I really don't like this gel medium. It's so it's still uh, it feels sticky even when it's dry. Okay. So I don't have a cover. I haven't sealed it, and I'm not going to. I want to do some to add some texture, and I'm going to use this stencil with a joint compound, wall compound, speckle, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I like using this stuff, and it's cheaper than uh, using a modeling paste. For me, this works great. Okay, so taking a little bit and going over. more here I hope it will look okay I am not that great about it but okay it worked so and again I'm doing the same thing on this corner it's going to give uh, more details and texture to my page and also frame the whole thing and I will move it a little bit so I will be in frame You don't have to have uh, the printed tissue paper or this kind of placement. Use in the background whatever you have. If it's a newspaper you have, if it's a pages from a book, really use whatever you have. So let's see. Anything more? I'm not sure. maybe a little bit more here in the hopes that i won't ruin what i've put here that's the problem we don't want it to, ch to touch what you've already done okay And again here. I'm holding it <laughs> lightly. Good enough for me. So now this needs to dry completely before I'm attempting to do anything else. So I'll be back. I'm back so this is not <laughs> dry uh, at all but what I decided that I want to uh, grunge it up I want to uh, push back uh, some of uh, this uh, background and I was debating between using a gesso or the joint compound and decided to go to try with the joint compound so it will uh, correspond with what I've done here and now I'm trying <laughs> to open the jar and it doesn't want to open and my hands are wet just genius 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 there's no word for it let's see no it doesn't want to open don't know why I just used it here it is oh my god so I just want to take a little bit of the joint compound and go over several areas and well push it back they don't need to be that prominent and I hope that with this kind of brush I will have more texture when I'm a going to paint and I'm still debating what uh, 
kind of paint I want if I want to use my sprays or maybe chalk pastels I really don't know so and as you can see I don't go over everything I just cover several stuff of the stuff and you can still see through maybe I'll just take acrylic paint and dilute it because I do want some movement or I really don't know maybe I will use a uh, watercolors we'll see right now I just as I said I want to push several areas back I really don't need it to be that prominent and if I think I need more I'm just going and adding let's hope it will work maybe a little bit here and here so we won't have a complete empty corners and yeah I think this is it now I really need to let all of this dry I'll be back I'm back and I hope this is dry enough. I've picked some of my sprays. These are made from gel food coloring with water and I don't have measurements. You just put some uh, drops, add water and you, you try to see if it's uh, light or dark enough to your taste. That's it. So I'm, uh, I've got here some purple, a uh, brown, uh, ultramarine and two kinds of green one is olive green and one neon green because I've got this paper napkin and that's going to be my focal point so I want um, some colors to go with what I've got here and to add to the mix so I'm going to just start a uh, spraying around and this is going to be quite random I don't have any uh, plans of where uh, each color is going. What I do uh, know is that I try to keep the darker colors to the edges and keep it lighter uh, in the center. And I'm also going over and letting the colors mix I think it adds to the whole thing and I want the green only in small places I don't want it to overwhelm my page I also have very little green here because I'm not going to take the whole a uh, paper napkin only this part with the bird so I as I said I don't want the green to be too much on this page and I thought I would use the neon green, but I don't think so. I want more color here. And it seems like it's it doesn't really absorb a, this, this spray color. Not as much as I want. But I'll keep at it <laughs> and maybe let it move a little bit like so the page is curling and then I've got a puddle in some place so I'm letting it move a little bit and where I have the joint compound then it takes a better with the sprays and where I don't have then it doesn't well i'm going to let it be and let's hope uh, it will be uh, nice once it's dry so i'll be back i'm back so i'm not completely satisfied with what's going on here but i decided that i want to put my focal point uh, first on the page and then work on the background more so I'm just taking a, 
a narrow uh, paintbrush and a little water in going around the focal image that I want to take out of a paper napkin like so and just gently taking it out that's the best way if you don't want hard edges to uh, whatever you want to take out of a paper napkin and I need just a little bit of water here I've already removed the two uh, white layers that come with the napkin so now I've got the image that I've wanted and I think I'm going to place it here I'm going to use a white a glue that I've diluted with water it's just easier to uh, work with it with paper napkins again don't have exact uh, measurements I'm just eyeballing it <laughs> or going by feel to see how uh, it goes for me I, I really don't have any measurements for it let's see here we go now I'm going on top and very gently I'm going from the center out I don't care if I have wrinkles but I don't want again I don't want any air bubbles smooth it out with the uh, flat of the brush it should be a, a soft brush so it won't drag and tear the paper napkin I love that it goes now on, on top of the texture that I have and I think I'm when it's dry I'm going to pick uh, give more highlights to the texture so we'll have to wait but I really like how uh, it turned out on this page so now I need for this to be completely dry before I'm working on the rest of the page I want to uh, darken all the edges and maybe stamp a little bit more here and put some writing on so I will wait for it to dry and I'll be back I'm back so so the sprays are didn't do the job that I wanted them to do so I'm going to revert to trying to add more color with uh, ink pads I'm using a um, makeup sponge and I've got here again I've got purple and uh, blue I've got some uh, green and brown so I'm just going to start going over the edges and trying to add more color to the whole I have I think most of the problem here is where I don't have anything glued and I don't have no gesso or uh, the joint compound and I just have the original uh, page it was a uh, glossy and I'll, of course I have sanded it a little bit but otherwise it's just that's what I have here and it's not it's not great so next time I will know to just <laughs> go over it, everything with gesso and I'm going also in where I think I need more color and again this is random I want color uh, in several places it doesn't really matter where I put the blue or where I put the purple and 
I'm going to try and also blend them. Like so. And it, <laughs> it's taking quite some time, but it, I, it's going to be worth it. And let's see. Here is the green. It almost looks looks a uh, yellowish but it does uh, go with this color so i will just keep at it and as i said before i don't want it to overwhelm my page i just want it in several places so it, i'll just deal with it uh, being a little bit yellow and it seems like it also adds a little bit more light to the whole page so it's good enough for me I'm finished with this color let's try for a little bit of brown trying to blend here I think I need to change the uh, sponge yeah so you see I'm uh, going with the brown in several places that I'll already put uh, either the green or the the blue and then I've got more colors merging from the merging between the two colors and more interest I think the brown also adds a little bit a uh, more vintagey look to the whole thing. This is the Distress Ink Walnut Stain by Tim Holtz. And I want a little bit more purple in several places where I've got just too much uh, blue of course my uh, bird is blue but I want little accents of purple I'm thinking let's take a taking a step back just to see what's going on <laughs> a little purple here sometimes you just need to take a step back and yeah I really like what's going on here so enough with the inks I just want a, a little bit more a stamping here that is not uh, letters from uh, the background I want to break it and put some maybe flowers or butterflies and we'll see I'll uh, bring some stamps and I'll be back I'm back so um, I want to stamp around here and I have decided on leaves and very I think subtle ones I'm using Momento Tuxedo Black and I just want to add in several places. I don't really care. It needs to, um, well, I think it uh, ties with the black that I have in the background. It ties with the, el uh, the texture element that I've done. Uh, with the the stencil and the joint compound and I've because I've got texture here it's a, a little bit difficult to stamp
Okay, we go a little bit more here. And maybe on the outside a little bit. I'm not even concerned about it being a great print just to tie everything together yeah so now I want uh, to pick uh, to give highlights to the texture I've got I'm going to use some kind of a uh, wax this is a uh, mine that I've done I've uh, made a video about it it's a uh, oil pastels mixed with a uh, <laughs> forgot a uh, coconut oil and I'm just picking it up with my finger I'm using the silver and I'm going over where I've got texture and I right now we don't have a, a lot of sun very cloudy today but still hot it's like autumn doesn't want to come so I'm going to rub all this uh, silver on my texture and then I will lift it up so uh, to the light so you can see what came out of it <laughs> because right now I don't think you can see the the silver highlights I think I'll uh, continue doing this and I'll come back I'm back so silver uh, rub a uh, wax rub on a uh, texture and I hope now you can see it I also needed to lift it up uh, each time to see where else I need to put it uh, as I said not enough light and I have just put uh, the saying here uh, if at first you don't succeed try again and basically this is it i thought about uh, darkening even more uh, the edges but i decided to leave it as is i really like it and thank you for watching and thank you for leaving me comments below i'll be seeing you in my next video bye for now